the, the greatest advice you'll ever get is to build and create yourself to be a leader who self-develops obsessively better than any other leader out there. And the crazy thing is you were taught to be a fucking dog, but you're not a dog anymore. You say you are, but you're not. If you were a dog, you'd be training every motherfucking day. You'd be in every training program you could. You would be afraid that someone knows something that you don't know. What I was saying is, even as a leader, I need to have something filled into me. Yep. Otherwise, I can't get to him. Dude, that's the biggest thing is that what I'll tell you is that a lot of times, who's in charge? Whoever's in charge, where are they getting fueled up from? Right. Um, where, if you're a leader, you should always be plugged into leadership training. I couldn't imagine someone in charge of a company or in charge of people who isn't training. I mean, that'd be stupid because how are you coming up with new information, new content, new ways to motivate the team, new ways to inspire the team? You know, you say uh, a hype guy. I hear people say, ah, this guy's hype. No, dude, I'm a spirit. Like to inspire, if I want to inspire, if you have a team, don't you want to inspire your team? Well, you can't inspire your team if you're not a spirit that's alive, okay? And, and you going around showing to your team that you're not doing the training, they're not gonna do it either. One of the number one reasons why teams don't get better is because the leaders that are in charge of the people don't do the training that they're asking their team to do. One of the first things that I, we had a company cancel on us one time on training. We trained big companies. And we have a platform that's sick. And the guy calls, yeah, we're gonna, guys aren't using it. I said, who's in charge? <laughs> he said, well, I'm in charge. And I said, that's the problem. You're not doing the training because I just logged into your account and you haven't done shit. So if you're not doing the training, if you're not doing it, how are you supposed to hold the team who's accountable for doing the training that they're even doing it properly if they were training on it? How do you even know if they did or didn't watch it if you didn't watch any of it? How do you know if they could have got better or if it didn't work if you didn't do any of it? And by the way, your team will always do exactly what you do. Your team will work half as hard as you. Your team will train half as hard as you. And I'm gonna tell you, dude, somehow we've gotten into this era where leaders are fucking entitled. They're like, oh, I'm in charge. I don't give a fuck. What does that mean? In charge means you're the example. Is the exa Now, by the way, listen, Maybe you're the number one and someone else should be the number two. Because if you ever say, I don't want to do the training anymore, you'd better turn to number two really quick that does the training who's in charge of the team now so that you can step back and say, hey, I'm, a, I, I'm an owner, I'm not an operator, right? So I'm going to own, I'm going to work on ownership stuff outside of the company. My number two is going to work inside of the company as an operator. But if you're an operator inside of a company, an operator, which means you're physically still operating inside of the company and you're not training, don't bitch when your team don't do it. And by the way, if they're not training, they're not getting better, period. That's it. The, the greatest advice you'll ever get is to build and create yourself to be a leader who self-develops obsessively better than any other leader out there. If your team sees you self-developing constantly, well, see, because here's what happens. We'll self-develop as leaders to a certain point to where we get our income where we want it, and then we'll slow down. And when we slow down, you're fucking out. The minute you slow down, guys like me will take you out. And the reason why I say guys like me is because I don't ever get full. I'm a dog. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. And the crazy thing is you were taught to be a fucking dog, but you're not a dog anymore. You say you are, but you're not. If you were a dog, you'd be training every motherfucking day. You'd be in every training program you could. 
you would be afraid that someone knows something that you don't know. You know how many times I keep hearing the same shit repeated? All the time from the people that I look up to, which affirms that that's the right thing to do. But occasionally I hear them say something different. And I'm like, what the did you say? And I'm like, that's my edge. And I wanna tell you this, the greatest thing that you can do as a leader is to never lose your edge. Let me explain why. Because I'm an alpha. So I don't respect a leader anymore once they lose their edge. I'm out. And I'm gonna tell you, you wanna make sure that you never lose your edge. Because if you lose your edge, you're getting replaced. And you may say you're not, you're stupid. You're gonna get replaced. Someone else wants what you have. If any of you have anything in here worth having, somebody else wants what you want. You think you're the only one that wants what you have? No fucking way. There's a lot of other people that want what you want. The question is, if they all want the same thing, why would you get it and them not get it? How bad do they want it and how bad do you want it? This is a game that never ends. It's a never ending game. But some of us are like, oh, well, I get older and I've got the life I want. Bro, you're gonna get taken out. You know what I mean? And dude, over my dead body, I'm not gonna get taken out. And I wanna live a long life of competitiveness, of staying alive, of keeping my mind sharp. You know why people get old, they get fat, they get dementia, they fucking slow down, they get unhealthy? It's because they quit fighting. They quit fighting for their edge. They quit staying sharp. Like, dude, I want to do this shit until I die. Now you may say, well, like one day you're not going to want to do it. Well, maybe one day I don't want to travel everywhere. Maybe one day I would change something, but I would never stop learning. I would never stop showing my team that self-development is the number one key that will separate us from all else. You know what I mean? So I think the secret is truly self-development. And I want to tell you, there's lots of people that are coming up into the space every day that nobody knew who they were last year and they're fucking badasses now. And you know what they're doing? They're the new blood. And they're taking out other people when they come in. See, I'm gonna explain this to you. This is why I love self-development also again. I'm an influencer. That means I influence people for a living because we're in an era where people are on their phones all day looking for people to fucking inspire them. Am I right? Now, if I'm at speaking events every month, if I'm on stages every month, don't you think after two or three years, they're going to be like, we fucking heard what he said. Who's the new guy? They're already looking to fucking replace me, which means I need to wake up now and say, I need to be the only motherfucker in this industry in which they can't fucking replace. So that's why I'm going to stay sharp. Your team, they've heard your speech. They've heard you fucking motivate them. You think the same shit motivated them last year is still motivating now they're done they've already checked out now they're not looking up to you and they're coming to this guy now that means you're not their influence anymore so why should you continue to, tr to train because if you don't keep learning new language new ways to inspire your team you say I'm not the hype guy you better fucking become it you better get your energy because if you don't some other motherfucker that's got energy is going to recruit your whole fucking team and you'll say that's not possible that's stupid. I know a guy one time that didn't take care of his wife, okay? And he said, she'll never leave. She did. Dude, you're stupid. You don't get to own anything. Success is rented. Every fucking piece of it. Your kid's mind is rented. Your wife's mind is rented. This whole thing is rented. You gotta keep bringing variety. You keep bringing new shit to the table. You gotta keep it fun. People get distracted easily. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I wanna get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I wanna roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link, it says coach with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, 
Click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.